The way I've been building this channel, I think has been a mistake. When you recognize a mistake, a lot of the art of entrepreneurship is the ability and the willingness and the decisiveness about acknowledging your mistake, shifting out of your mistake with, pardon the expression, zero fucks given about being embarrassed or looking silly or worrying what people think because you're essentially acknowledging you made a mistake and, and responding to that intelligently. The second mistake here that I wanna talk about in this video, in the way that I've been building this YouTube channel, is I basically forgot the number one rule of personal branding. Be yourself. I'm always myself in terms of how I deliver. I don't really know any other way to do it, but the, the structure and the, pl the, the plan and even the intention around this channel has not been, I think, true to myself, and I'll explain what I mean. The way that I've been creating video content up to this point on YouTube, at least for the last several months, uh, even the better part of the last year, has been informed by a strategy that I learned from some very talented YouTube marketers who even, frankly, we paid a decent amount of money to to teach us the strategy and it was all based around, and I'm happy to share the strategy, but I don't, I'm, gonna, I'm also gonna tell you I don't actually recommend it. And it was all based around like how to create videos that are designed to get attached to other trending or other successful videos on YouTube. So the idea was if, so if somebody else in your genre puts out a video that's called seven ways to think about money, then I should put out a video called seven ways to think about money so that YouTube will connect the two algorithmically and, and, and put my video as a recommended follow-up video to that other video. So if, if there's somebody in my space who, you know, they have 2 million subscribers and their videos all to automatically get hundreds of thousands of views, then I should essentially create my own version of that or my, my own video around that exact same topic and even give it an almost identical title so that I can try to hook into it and YouTube will, will basically bolt mine on to the back of the other one as a recommended video and I'll start getting all this spillover traffic, right? Be able to leverage other people's audiences. It's a great strategy on the surface. It makes a lot of sense, right? But having done it for months now, I can tell you that a few things have happened. One is it takes a lot of resources to try to take somebody else's video and repurpose it, or not repurpose it, that's not the right word, and reimagine it in my own terms, in my own voice, and with my own ideas. And, and yet that's kind of what I'm having to do, is like I'm taking somebody else's unique inspiration and somebody else's, you know, content, and then I'm saying, well, look, obviously I'm not gonna plagiarize it, I'm not even gonna paraphrase it, I'm gonna try to create my own relevant contribution to the same topic, but I have to align it so that it tries to line up with what they did so that YouTube will connect the two. And, and maybe that would work for some people, but for me, it means that I end up creating this layer of, of almost like self-consciousness or excessive self-awareness where instead of just being in it, being myself, sharing content that's original for me and ideas that are original for me and value that's you know, entirely derives from my unique perspective in the world, I'm actually starting with somebody else's framework and trying to reinvent it to my own. I'm trying to create a variation on their theme. And although I do think a lot of my content, you know, all the videos I've, I've done this way, they've come out um, original, they've come out good, but they were not efficient. The amount of time and energy that I had to spend trying to adapt somebody else's concept into my own ideas and my own words is super efficient. Plus, I have to have somebody else, because I don't have the time, that I'm paying to actually do the research, find the videos, find the trends, create the titles, create the, the optimization framework around the keywords and whatever, and then deliver it to me in sort of a, an outline form to say roughly, hey, okay, Jeff, in order for your video to line up with this video, here's what you need to talk about. Then I have to take that outline, and I have to think through it and talk through it in my mind and make it so that it's mine and that even though it was derived from someone else's ideas, that now they're my ideas told through my voice, my examples, and, and, and in my style. It's such a fucking inefficient process, man. I've been taking 
you know, it takes me a couple hours to do this, to do one video instead of what I'm doing right now, which is I've been talking what, for like 45 minutes? And I've already got, I'm, I'm gonna have two videos done because I just started from my own ideas. I started from just being myself and I wasn't trying to, you know, hook on to what somebody else is doing. And again, I, I had forgotten the first rule of personal branding, which is just be yourself and then figure out how to amplify yourself, figure out how to stylize yourself, figure out how to optimize yourself, figure out how to package yourself, but always, always, always start with being yourself. And the fact that I just wasted months starting with what someone else did has made the whole thing painfully inefficient. It requires a lot more resources to do and uh, I'm tired of it. I'm not gonna do it. As soon as I had this epiphany, it was time to change. Um, there's a concept called efficacy, which is about the, the balance of efficiency between inputs and outputs. In other words, what is the most efficient way to do a thing in order to get the result that you're trying to do. And that's the, the difference between efficacy and efficiency. Efficiency is just, what's the most efficient way to do the thing? Efficacy is, what's the most efficient way to do the thing that calculates for the maximum value of what you get from doing the thing, right? And that's, uh, that's where I'm at. And what I realized, and, and actually the results, if I really look at the results, these videos aren't getting any more views than they were when I was just doing my own thing. Like, it's ridiculous. I'm putting all this time and energy into trying to be a, be a match. It's like, this is a horrible example because I'm married, but it'd be like going on match.com and being like, okay, I like her, so I'm going to create my entire profile to try to appeal to her. And then I'm gonna ping her or chat her, or I don't know how match works, but I'm gonna ping her and then surely still look at my profile and go, oh, he looks like a match, I like him. But then I do it and it's not a match. So I'm like, all right, well that didn't work. You know what, let me find someone new. I'm gonna redo my whole profile so that I can try to be a match for them and then I'll ping them. And if they, you know, maybe they'll like me because I, I put all this thought into trying to be a match. Oh crap, they don't like me either. Man, I'm spending four hours redoing my profile just to try to find a match. You know what? Maybe I should just make a profile that's just my profile. That's just me in my essence. And again, if you're just tuning in, I'm not, this is not advice on how to use match.com. I'm married. I don't even know how the, the platform works. I'm just saying, trying to be for someone else that you're trying to attract or you're trying to align with or you're trying to conv convince YouTube to algorithmically match you with is exhausting. Just be yourself. It is the most efficacious way to get the result and I now have the results to prove that this strategy, although it may, here's the deal, it probably works for people that aren't really, really crystal clear on who they are and what they have to offer. If you don't have, if you haven't taken the time or, or, or built the life experience to have unique value to offer to the world, then there's probably uh, you know, a viability in the strategy of saying, hey, just try to align with what someone else is doing and try to see if you can you know, hitch your wagon to what they're doing and get some spillover uh, you know, authority or, or awareness or whatever. But I'd rather invest the time in just having more good stuff to say. I'd rather invest the time in just being of more substance and being of more value and being of more conviction and clarity in who I am and what I have to offer and really leaning into my strengths and leaning into my uniqueness. Because again, and this is to, to sum all this up, this is the mistake that I made. Hey, sorry for the interruption. I just wanted to let you know you can get a free copy of my book, The Millionaire Shortcut, which will show you the fastest way to become a millionaire in the new economy. And there's a special link just for this episode in the description. So thanks for tuning in and I hope you enjoy the rest of the episode. I allowed myself temporarily to think that there was any consideration more important in terms of building an audience than, than, than pure authenticity. I allowed myself to think for some, you know, for, for a moment that like, and, and I say for a moment, I mean, it was months and months that like, hey, if I can take who I am, but I can kind of meld it into this alignment with others, that I'll, you know, YouTube will reward me. Well, guess what? They haven't. The views on my videos have not been any better uh, than they were before. In fact, they've been worse because as I've seen the strategy go on and on and on, 
I'm actually not as passionate about video creation. And, I'm, and frankly, we've kind of, I can feel it in my focus. It's like I'm not as willing to invest. Before I was investing more in promoting the videos. Now I'm not. And I can just feel this whole thing being kind of this slippery slope, this downward spiral that I think is a representation of how all things go when we shift our focus into trying to, let's call it, please others. And in this case, what I was trying to please was YouTube. I've been creating, and this, this may be anathema, this may be the worst advice ever for people trying to build a YouTube channel, but I've been creating content thinking YouTube first instead of creating content thinking me and my audience first. This is it, this is a new style right here. It's going live, talking about the real stuff that I'm really dealing with on a daily basis as I try to grow my business from where it is to where I want it to go. And that, you know, I think that's another, that's another critical piece right there is I'm not in the place where the best value that I can provide, the highest and best utility of my time and, and energy and intelligence is not on teaching zero to one. Now I've built a channel where I really, I want to inspire a lot of zero to one behavior. I'm absolutely passionate about inspiring zero to one behavior, but tactical zero to one behavior, hey, here's how to set up your LLC or here's how to create your first funnel or here's how to you know, write your first Facebook ad or here's how to select your first product to market or there's other people that are experts on teaching zero to one tactics. I'm trying to grow a business to a billion dollars. I, I shouldn't be taking time out of my, my business, my actual work, to stop and try to roll back to 10 years ago when I was zero to one getting started and teach from that place because that's not authentically who I am. It's authentically who I was, but it's not where I'm at in my journey. And I've been thinking, well, oh, my brand needs, I, says I need, to reach, I need to reach people that are nascent entrepreneurs. I'm, help, I'm trying to help inspire and birth an entrepreneurial revolution, but I don't think I'm doing that in the best way possible by pretending to be a tactical expert on what you do when you get started in a business because I have a big business and I've been doing this for a few years. I have a current going concern that's almost three years old and I'm trying to like make it, you know, a, a full-fledged unicorn, I need to be 100% grounded in that and speaking from that place because I will still be inspiring and I will still be supporting people and giving birth to their entrepreneurial dreams, not by teaching the tactics of what to do on day one, but by leading by example and showing what's possible. You know, Elon Musk and Richard Branson and people like that inspire way more entrepreneurs in this world than people that are teaching ground level tactics. And I'm not saying that one is better than the other, you need both, but for me, the best utility of my time is not pretending to be a kindergarten teacher. It's, it's owning where I'm at and speaking from that place and delivering value from that place because frankly, there are a lot more people that can speak to what does it take to start a business on day one than there are people that can speak to what does it take to build a billion dollar company in less than five years. And the fact that I'm in a unique position to be able to have that latter conversation means what the hell am I doing trying to build a YouTube strategy around having the former conversation. Every time I go and get on YouTube, I'm what, stepping into a time machine and going back to 10 years ago and trying to speak from that place? It's so inefficient. It's such low efficacy. So it is time to stop overcomplicating. It is time to stop overthinking. It is time to stop redoing my profile every single video just so that you know, YouTube will think I'm a match. And it is time to just ground myself and live congruently all the time in the essence and the purity of who I am and where I'm at and what I have to offer. And if people like it, they'll like it. And if people don't, Maybe, maybe there's people that'll go, oh, this, this isn't the same channel that it was before. That's cool. But I have a feeling that coming from a, a center of, of, of authentic psychological gravity that I am only myself and no one else for any other purpose is going to have a lot more magnetism anyway and the channel is going to grow a lot faster. So hopefully you find some value in that. Uh, just remember, you are the only unique asset you have, whether you're a starting a business or you're scaling a business, or hell, you're trying to sell your business, whatever stage you're at, you're always gonna maximize 
your value, you're always gonna maximize your time, you're always gonna maximize the multiple that gets placed on whatever you're doing if you, if you just refuse to compromise coming from the place of yourself. I hope there's some value in that for you. What is it you're supposed to say at the end of every YouTube video? Like the video if you liked it. Comment on the video if you have a comment or question. Subscribe up to the channel if you, like, you know the drill, right? Thank you so much for your time. I'll see you on the next one. Hey, if you liked this video, then you're gonna love this video. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to believe in yourself when you don't believe in yourself. And I'm gonna cover five things you need to know about belief so that belief can be something that you start to get control of.